Hey there guys, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and today I'm out at Rockfish Gap on the Appalachian Trail and I had started this section south and I've gone down to the Thai River from this section but today I am headed north through Shenandoah National Park. I have 107 miles to go north to meet up with 522 and then I've done all parts of uh, the AT from 522 up to Pennsylvania through um, the rest of Virginia, West Virginia, and Maryland. So anyway, come along with me as I am trekking north today. I'm with Jaybird over there. Jaybird, hello. Wave. hello. Uh, anyway, we are heading through S&P, so come along and join us. When you get to this backcountry camping um, kiosk, that means you're entering Shenandoah National Park, fill out one of these pieces of paper that's down in here. And I know a lot of people don't do that, but why it's important is you have to have a permit per Shenandoah National Park to backcountry camp. So by filling this out, that is your permit that you keep with you. Plus, they can keep track of you if something were to happen and um, you didn't return and your family were looking for you. All they have to do is see what you filled out, how long you were gonna stay here and where you entered from. So anyway, all right, time to really get to hiking now. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would jump, oh what a fool Just getting back on the trail after taking a lunch break. Um, so far from Rockfish Gap to McCormick Gap hasn't been too bad. It was pretty steep coming down into the little parking lot area right there across the street. It's only one car um, over there. But uh, so far so good. I feel good. Uh, Jaybird feels good. We don't have a plan with camping. We're really, there's a shelter um, up this way and I'm not a big shelter camper if I don't have to, if I can find a stealth spot. So just gonna play about ear, see how I feel, and kind of go from there. So, all right, time to get moving. Trail confession. So, S&P, I always call Shenandoah National Park S&P, so when you hear me say that, that's what I'm saying. Rattlesnakes and bears, that, has always been a little bit of my fear going through Shenandoah. The only bear I have ever seen on trail was here. And there are more rattlesnakes and copperheads that I see people post pictures of, and they're always inside of this park. 
Keep in mind all the animals are protected here. So you see a ton of deer, but the bears are protected too. Sometimes there's some nuisance bears. Anyway, do you have a little bit of that in the back of my mind? So I'm keeping my eyes open and making lots of noise. If we hear anything moving through the woods, we've already seen a deer. But anyway, that is my trail confessional. Just a teeny bit of fear about bears and rattlesnakes. Finally found the tractor seats. I thought they were on top of Apple Orchard Mountain, but Chris Oconee, you were right when I asked you, they are on the top of, what was this mountain again? Bear Den. Bear Den, Bear Den Mountain. This is Beagle Gap parking lot. So the trail goes through here and then you go across and then you gotta climb up. I see the blaze all the way up there. And then we're climbing up to Little Calf Mountain, which is probably that right there. All right, keep it on, keep it on. taking a little rest break at Beagle Gap in this field. And that's where we came from. We were up here all by those towers, came down, came across to the field, and now going back up. This is an awesome campsite. Somebody had a fire pit right there, right next to the Little Calf Mountain sign. And look at the view. You get views over here. You get views over here. I mean, it's just beautiful. Hey guys, made it down to the Calf Mountain Shelter set my tent up I got water at the spring that was running right before the shelter and just ate dinner and I am going to turn in it's been a long day um, we went a half a mile out of the way because there was a weird section um, that was it was just like a, a triple intersection that all had white blazes and it was the weirdest thing I've never seen it before is right around the calf little calf mountain area before you get up there and we went the wrong way following the white blazes until we realized we were getting closer and closer to the parking lot that we had just passed. So anyway, it was a good day on trail. I'm definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. My ankles are sore from all of the rocks. Um, I did not look at my mileage, but I will put it um, down here to put in how many AT miles I did today and how many actual miles hiked um, that I did. So. All right, guys, I will show you around the shelter tomorrow. There are about five or six Sobo um, AT3 hikers here, so I don't want to invade their privacy um, at the shelter. I think some, a couple of them are gonna sleep in the shelter, but anyway, I'll show you around tomorrow when there's more light. All right, until then.
all of the through hikers have up and gone so I can finally show you what the shelter looks like and there's a picnic area here my food bags and my tent spot was right here and our big old tent barely fit um, on this tent spot there's also a tent pad kind of over there you can see where the wooden planks are but this is where we stayed Good morning everybody I was just packing up camp and thought I would show you my winter sleeping bag um, this is the Sierra designs taquito mummy bag and I believe it's a 20 degree bag if not I will put what it is um, below but it is a down um, sleeping bag and I really love it I mean when you switch from your summer to your winter bag it takes up more space in your backpack but you know that's just life what are you gonna do but I highly recommend this comes in both men's and women's I love the colors ladies if you're looking for a cool color um, bag but it is so warm sometimes it's so warm it roasts me out of the tent like last night I was hot and it got down to the upper 40s I believe last night um, with the wind and everything blowing but anyway I just wanted to show this to you in case you were interested in what type of sleeping bag I use Good morning, a second good morning to you. It is a glorious fall day to be on the Appalachian Trail. It feels so good this morning. Perfect hiking weather, perfect. Uh, let's see, Calf Mountain Shelter um, is where we stayed and I'm gonna be talking and walking. Um, and it's too far off the trail. It says 0.3 off the trail, but honestly, it felt so much further. So, I mean, that adds 0.6 uh, to your AT section hike. And those miles really add up uh, on your body. I can attest to that. Um, I was looking at my stats. So, yesterday we hiked 7.8 AT miles, but I hiked 11.1 .1 actual miles. And that's from going down to the shelter, from, um, you know, going to the views, videoing, going back to get my phone for shots. So 11.1 .1 versus 7.8. I mean, it's a big difference. Anyway, we are northbound again. Um, not 100% sure what our plans are, but I do believe there is a green tunnel through this section. But there's good stuff to see. I will show you. All right, time to keep on moving. Just sat down for a break against this nice beautiful big tree right here and just put some electrolytes in my water and we're just fueling up for this little climb that we got ahead of us not too bad of a climb but anyway nice relaxing sit down snack so all right about time to get up
whoever said S&P was flat, you obviously hitched a ride on Skyline Drive and didn't hike this section that I just hiked up from the spring. It was like a 500 foot, nothing but uphill for an entire mile. That is not flat, people. So I'm keeping it real and telling you, Shenandoah National Park in the AT is not flat. Don't let anybody fool you into thinking that it's easier. Maybe it's easier for a through hiker because you're not climbing, you know, two, 3,000 foot mountains or something, but <sighs> taking a break because that just took a lot out of me. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought I wouldn't jump or water through. All right, guys, made it to the Sawmill Run Overlook parking lot right here and that's going to be the end of this hike for this two day or one and a half day um, section so basically I did 15 total miles but it was only 10.8 AT miles so it was a good little section but man we're, are, there are some steep sections for sure that yeah I have good hooks and I looked at it but I really wasn't mentally prepared for those Anyway, um, next time I will start right from this section and continue heading north. And the next shelter um, north of here is the Turk Mountain, um, Turk Mountain, no, Black Rock, Black Rock um, shelter, Black Rock hut, I think is what it's called. Anyway, guys, this is RVA Hiker Girl over and out for this first section hike of the Shenandoah National Park. Until next time.